So now we're on multi-step stoichiometry, which more accurately should be called multi-reaction stoichiometry. Let's look at number 17. Hydrogen, obtained by the electrical decomposition of water, was combined with chlorine to produce hydrogen chloride. Calculate the mass of hydrogen chloride produced when 12.6 grams of water are decomposed. So the hydrogen was obtained by this first reaction and then used in the second reaction to react with chlorine to make hydrochloric acid. And so it's asking, if I started with 12.6 grams of water, how much hydrogen would I get? And then using that amount of hydrogen with excess chlorine, how much hydrochloric acid finally will I have? So it's just stoichiometry with two separate reactions in it. But otherwise, it's the same thing as we've been doing. Start with what you know, 12.6 grams of water using that 12.6 grams of water. Water weighs 18.0 grams for every one mole. Okay, so the mole to mole ratio is going to be the hydrogen here, the water here to the hydrogen there. Starting from water going to hydrogen within the same one reaction. For every two moles of water, two moles of hydrogen will be produced. Okay, but we're actually trying to use the hydrogen here. So now we have a new mole to mole ratio. Assuming that 100% of everything did exactly like it was supposed to do and all of the hydrogen here was converted to hydrogen to react with chlorine, then I'm just gonna do one more mole to mole step. But this is going to be from the second reaction. So going from this hydrogen to this HCl, that is one mole of hydrogen is needed to make two moles of HCl from the second reaction and if I had one mole of HCl that'd be 36.5 grams of HCl so 12.6 divided by 18 times 2 over 2 times 2 times 36.5 gives you an overall answer of 51.1 grams of HCl so this is exactly like the other stoichiometry we did, except for every individual reaction, we will have one extra mole-to-mole -mole step. Let's look at number 18. Antimony can be prepared from its sulfide ore by the following two-step process. Starting with this antimony sulfide, reacting with smoxion, will make SB406 and sulfur dioxide. That SB406 will then react with carbon to make the SB, the antimony. Antimony, by the way, is SB. Okay, so if we have what mass of antimony will be produced, let's put the question mark gram there, from 1.0 kilograms of ore, let's change that to 1,000 grams to make our life a little bit simpler here, that contains 23.2% by mass of SB2S3. So 1,000 grams of ore, ore is just a rock that comes out of the ground. And so what it's saying is 23.2% of that rock is actually SB203. So we're not actually starting with 1,000 grams. We're starting with 23.2% of 1,000 grams. If you want to see that in math, that's 23.2 out of 100 is how much out of 1,000. If we had a 1,000 gram rock, that's 232 grams of SB2S3. From there, I'm going to grams to moles, moles to moles, moles to grams, except I'm just going to add in one more mole to mole step. So I have to figure out what the weight of SB2S3 is. Find SB off the periodic table. So SB is 121.8 times two of those plus three times the 32.1 for sulfur gives me a total of 339.9 grams. So in my stoichiometry problem, that's 339.9 grams of SB2S3 for every one mole. Now, that's this SB2 up 3 again from the original reaction. I'm going to try to figure out how much SB406 is produced so that then I can use that SB406 in my second reaction to figure out how much SB will overall be produced. So, back to my stoichiometry, that is 2 moles 
of Sb2S3 for every one mole of Sb4O6. That gives me to the end of the first reaction. For the second reaction, I'm going to take that same Sb4O6, keep going, and one mole of Sb4O6 will give me four moles of antimony. And then antimony, one mole of antimony is 121.8 grams of antimony, which overall, if you calculate it, gives you 166 grams of antimony. It was not necessary to find the intermediate grams of SB406 since I was going to plug it again back into the original reaction. I just have to do an extra mole-to-mole -mole step for every extra reaction that I have.